Don't worry. I got this. I so got this. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 Adult Swim shows. That's near Coslo. And I want to get some hummus. Oh man, they got great hummus. To the Mystery Mobile! For this list, we'll be looking at the best shows that were created for or aired on Cartoon Network's more mature programming block. What's your favorite Adult Swim show? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Check it out with Dr. Steve Brule. John C. Riley is both an Oscar-nominated actor with numerous acclaimed dramas on his resume and an incredible comedic talent. On Check It Out, Riley plays Dr. Steve Brule. That's a poem I made about food. Hmm. Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Brule. Food. It's as simple as that. Despite his title, this is one doctor you wouldn't want examining you. This spoof of 80s programming sees poofy-haired Brule interacting with actual people and demonstrating his decidedly unique takes on the world. What do we have here? The building blocks of shishi. Shishi meat, peaches, and guacamole. What's up? What's up? What's up? The purposefully crude production value gives the show a surreal homemade quality. In every episode, Riley's unflappable demeanor makes it clear that Steve Brule is one of the greatest roles he's ever played. Number 19. Delocated Entering the Witness Protection Program is about shielding yourself from danger, so the last thing you'd want to do is star in a reality show. However, that's the premise of this hilarious show. Everyone excited? Yeah! Let's do this, guys, huh? Let's get fired up! John Glazer plays a witness who testifies against the Russian mob and then decides to star on a TV show. While he hides his identity with a ski mask and voice changer, his nemeses, the Merminskys, are still after him. His family is also frustrated with his idiotic television decision. You've obviously been given a very one-sided picture of me, and that's fine. But there are two sides to every story. On one side, you've got the jilted wife, who was scared and bailed out on her husband in his greatest time of need. With a great supporting cast that includes Eugene Merman as a low-quality hitman, we can testify that Delocated is one funny show. Number 18. The Eric Andre Show While late night talk shows are a traditional staple of television, they're usually a lot more normal than this. In a spoof of public access shows, Andre plays a version of himself that should probably be in an institution and not on his own show. The program also co-starred Hannibal Burris as Andre's co-host. My final guest of the evening is... Hannibal Burris? Morpheus, Dorpheus, Warpheus, go eat some Warpheus, Orpheus. After Burris left, a clone made from Burris's nose hair named Blanable stepped in. Along with all of this madness, the show also finds time for guests like James Vanderbeek, Tyler the Creator, and Wiz Khalifa. I'm on the mic. You're no. like my hype man. No. The crowd will go nuts. No. And then no. we have Diablo Cody, Diablo the Cody. woman who wrote Juno. She, because she could come out and do some DVD commentary live? No. The Eric Andre Show is the talk show that keeps on giving something. It's still impossible to tell what this funny show will give you every time you tune in. Number 17. Frisky Dingo Despite its name, this Adult Swim series isn't about a mischievous wild dog. It focuses on an arrogant superhero named Awesome X and his arch nemesis and occasional friend, the gravelly-voiced red-eyed Killface. I've taken over your airwaves. Now, I trust you're all comfy on your tacky sofas from rooms to go. Lots of nibbles close at hand. If those names sound ridiculous to you, the show's doing its job. Frisky Dingo skewers the tropes most associated with the superhero genre. World domination schemes and billionaires moonlighting as crime-fighting vigilantes are both made fun of. W what are you doing here? Zand uh, Billy Xander Cruz said I could use his place for this. If the show's animation style and humor reminds you of another show, it's no coincidence. The creators went on to make the hilarious genre send-up, Archer. While Frisky Dingo may have only lasted two seasons, it gave us laughs of heroic proportions. Number 16. Loiter Squad when Odd Future hit the mainstream, they got as much attention for their antics as they did their music. So, an Adult Swim show was the perfect fit for their sensibilities. Loiter Squad features members of the rap collective making us laugh. It's our anniversary and you've planned something special for the bedroom. What is it? Well, first off, I have these new kitten sheets I want to pull out. So I'll put that all over the bed. Then I'll lay you down and we'll stare at my cats. Famous names like Tyler the Creator and Earl Sweatshirt star in all sorts of ridiculous sketches. 
Although we already knew how clever they were based on their music, Loiter Squad gave us a glimpse at their comedic timing as well. I let that boy borrow uh, season one of my Moesha uh, special DVD. Ray J, sister. Oh, that was a special DVD. He never gave it back, neither. Cost me about $10.99, too. Uh -huh. $14.99 now, what if I'm hell? counting interest. There are also memorable appearances from guest stars like Johnny Knoxville, Snoop Dogg, and Seth Rogen. You don't have to be an odd future fan to enjoy hanging out with the Loiter Squad. Number 15. Tom Goes to the Mayor Tim Heidecker and Eric Wareheim are two of the most important figures in Adult Swim's history. Tom Goes to the Mayor is where it all began for them. Originating online, this series features actors who are photographed and have their images filtered with blue outlines. Well, it's Tom Peters here. Hey, Tom. I uh, just, uh, just wanted to stop by and tell you about this little charity I'm doing some work for. Great. Yeah. Love to hear about it. There are also some truly cartoonish live-action segments. Tom, played by Heidecker, approaches the mayor of the town of Jefferson with various ideas. Once the mayor then puts his own spin on various concepts, chaos ensues. The show's peculiar humor was definitely not for everyone. It looks like we'll be able to craft 3.4 eyes for underprivileged children. Thanks for making a difference. However, others were extremely enchanted by the absurd magic of Tim and Eric. Number 14, Squidbillies. Sometimes a show tells you what it's about right in the title. Squidbillies is the story of a family living in the Georgia mountains who just so happen to have tentacles. Excuse me, uh, you reckon you could uh, give me permission to date your pumpkin? Get off my porch. Get out of your house. Hey, you like that? You like that? This unit of Appalachian mud squids includes profane patriarch Early and a granny whose walker is bigger than she is. There have also been numerous renditions of the theme song performed by popular artists, including Weird Al Yankovic, Leonard Skinner, and T-Pain. We definitely can't say that the show's premise is particularly deep or is completely politically correct humor. Don't you say I never don't do nothing for you, even if that is factual. Sorry, Daddy. Can I, can I ride something now? Yeah, you go and hop in that little blue rocket ship over there. Woo! All right! Off to the moon! But for 13 seasons, Squidbillies showed just how far one ridiculous concept could go. Number 13, Moral Oral. Adult Swim shows are generally not known for being wholesome, so if you tuned into Moral Oral expecting family entertainment, you would quickly learn how terribly wrong you were. You've melted my cold heart. Here, take the crack. Oh, no thanks. You don't need to give me anything. I'm not gonna burn in hell. Oh, it's the least I can do for a fellow Christian. The stop-motion animated show is about Oral Puppington, a young Christian who does his best to live a pious life and stay hopeful. But thanks to his hateful and brutal father, Clay, that mission can be very difficult. The further the show goes, the more difficult it can be to watch. Oral, these near-death experiences are getting a little tiresome and expensive. Now, I don't want to have to sign another one of your death certificates. You get me? Atta boy. But it boldly tackles difficult issues without fear. As both a send-up of corny television and an examination of trauma, Moral Oral is divine. Number 12, Home Movies. After home movies first premiered on UPN, it was canceled after just five episodes. Fortunately, it would go on to become one of Adult Swim's most beloved shows. So uh, Brendan, if I don't get a good grade on this writer's fair thing, I, I might have to go to summer school. I thought you were already going to summer school. Oh, thanks a lot, Melissa. I was trying to get him going. The series follows a young boy named Brendan, who makes his way through life one movie at a time. Joining him on his journey are his friends Jason and Melissa, as well as his pseudo-father figure soccer coach McGurk. Wait a minute. Always late. Flunking tests. Tired. Phone calls at four in the morning. Yeah. Brendan. Brendan. Yeah. Are you trading online? What? Brendan? No. Brendan, if you are. What? One in. Heard it makes a lot of money. And behind the scenes, one of the co-creators was Bob's Burgers mastermind, Lauren Bouchard. Rich with clever and improvised dialogue, ambitious storytelling, and memorable characters, these are home movies worth watching again and again. Number 11, Children's Hospital. Since there are plenty of medical dramas out there, Adult Swim had lots of material to make fun of for this show. Parodying programs like Grey's Anatomy and ER, this series follows a cast of dubious medical experts. I want to cut this kid open. Why? She's got a broken arm. Says who? The X-ray. Please. I don't trust these. They're not even in color. Look, I gotta open her up. What if it's something more serious? What if it's AIDS? I don't know this kid. Everyone from Dr. Clown Blake Downs to former police officer Dr. Owen Maestro stumble their way through what's normally thought of as a dignified profession. The show makes great use of every member of its large ensemble. 
Rob Corddry, Lake Bell, and Henry Winkler all shine in between all the medical turns. Only you can get the information from him, and only he can fill in the blanks. Go get him, killer. If laughter really was the best medicine, Children's Hospital could cure plenty of ailments. Number 10, Metalocalypse. Co-created by Brendan Small from Home Movies, this series follows Death Clock, a death metal band whose fame and notoriety make Metallica look obscure by comparison. We're here to make coffee metal. We will make everything metal. Blacker than the blackest black times infinity. The massive influence of Death Clock, which includes members like Nathan Explosion and William Murderface, has tremendous consequences. The musical group even has attracted a few unexpected enemies during their journey. But their fans are too devoted to care about what mayhem Death Clock attracts. What happened back there, huh? What was that? We don't know. We no means it. It was accident school. We're not a fault. Bloodbath doesn't read well in print, all right? You know what I'm saying? We can't do anything right! Despite being a fictional band, multiple albums have been released under the Death Clock name. A loving tribute and send-up of metal fandom, Metalocalypse is a head-banging good time. Number 9. Sea Lab 2021 If you grew up in the 70s, you might remember the underwater set animated series Sea Lab 2020. While it wasn't exactly beloved, it indirectly gave us one of the funniest shows decades later. Sea Lab 2021 skewers the original environmental show and others like it. Would you ever put your brain in a robot body? Why? I like my body. <laughs> I love my body. Yeah, you'd never get old or sick. Why is the alarm going off? Beats me. It even reuses animation from Sea Lab 2020. Throughout the show, a crew led by the decidedly unqualified Captain Murphy spends less time exploring the wonders of the ocean and more time causing chaos. Not Captain Hazel Murphy. Yes, he's in charge of Sea Lab. Do me a favor. Sure. Tell Captain Murphy to stay away from my boat. Uh, yes, sir. It's not uncommon for characters to be killed in one episode, but return in the next one, with no explanation. This kind of embrace of absurdity is what makes Sea Lab 2021 such a whale of a good time. Number 8. Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law Like Sea Lab 2021, Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law takes Hanna-Barbera characters from decades past and puts a surreal twist on them. In this case, Gary Cole's Birdman has gone from fighting crime to defending accused criminals and others in court. Actually, Shaggy and Scooby were arrested. It was awful. Now you see why banging doesn't pay. I'll take the case. But first, you're gonna have to lose the colors. And these aren't the kind of cases you'd see on Law & Order. Birdman's done everything from aid supposed mafia don Fred Flintstone to defending Shaggy and Scooby from possession charges. He's even helped Jetson sue after global warming causes mutants to attack their house. We came back to sue you all for completely ruining the planet. <laughs> well, now, I'm not so sure you can say without a doubt that we're actually ruined. <laughs> oh, what is that? That's what you get when you genetically modify corn a little too much. By taking these classic characters and giving them clever new spins, we find Harvey Birdman guilty of being hilarious. Number 7. The Boondocks Great satire needs to be two things, insightful and funny. The Boondocks manages to balance both sharp social commentary with hilarious character and plot development. The show follows brothers Huey and Riley moving from Chicago to the suburb of Woodcrest to live with their granddad. Matter of fact, you're about to get a lesson in fundamentals. Now go outside and shoot some free throws while I change. Oh, me. Any monkey can do them tricks. You need to learn the basics. Mm. Why are you sure it's so short? Episodes delve into controversial topics like racism, government trustworthiness, and perception of popular entertainers. The anime-inspired animation makes every episode look great and feel larger than life. You don't look famous. What are you, an actor? Is you Morgan Freeman? Ow! Boy, stop acting crazy. You know that's Martin Luther King. Now go clear the dishes. Why can't this Morgan Freeman King do clear the dishes? All the visuals are supported by great voice work from talents like Regina King and John Witherspoon. Featuring plot lines that are still relevant today, The Boondocks is a show that never ran out of clever things to say. Number 6. The Venture Brothers Although The Venture Brothers was part of the Adult Swim lineup for 14 years, only seven seasons were produced. But these seven seasons are all worth cherishing. This series follows the disaster-prone twins Hank and Dean, father and unqualified scientist Rusty, and plenty of allies and foes. Hey, hey Pop! Pop. Yeah, Boys. This place is tits! Divvy this, we got these boss Mexican hats, sombreros, and these super cool sugar skulls with our names on them. Their biggest enemy is the butterfly-inspired baddie, the Monarch. 
Hilariously enough, his ultimate motivations aren't actually that clear. Blending comedy, drama, and action, the show attracted an incredibly passionate fan base. They stuck with the show even when having to wait years between seasons. Don't touch it, it's fragile! And when it's mad, it spits acid! And it's already mad because I pulled its wings off! With characters this memorable and world building this meticulous, can you blame them? Number 5. Tim and Eric Awesome Show Great Job Have you ever been channel surfing late at night and come across some of the weirdest television ever made? That basically sums up Tim Heidecker and Eric Wareheim's live action sketch show. True to the duo's nature, the humor on the show is polarizing. And welcome to discount prices. I've got one ninety. I've got seven ninety. I've got sixteen ninety nine. Cheap, cheap. There's no way to predict whether you'll be laughing hysterically or just staring at the screen in utter confusion. Sometimes you might be doing both. If Tim and Eric aren't enough to draw you in, the legion of famous friends they bring in to join the madness might win you over. Paul Rudd, Bob Odenkirk, and Ben Stiller have all stopped by. Like I'm sitting there looking at you, and you're giving me the. Yeah. Yeah. Despite the show's hit or miss quality, it's undeniably an awesome Adult Swim program. Number 4. Space Ghost Coast to Coast Space Ghost Coast to Coast first premiered on Cartoon Network seven years before Adult Swim debuted, but two years after ending, it was revived and became one of Adult Swim's earliest hits. The show is centered around Hanna-Barbera superhero Space Ghost's gig as a talk show host. You look like Batman, dude. I have ears. Batman doesn't. No, you don't. Batman has ears. Yeah, Batman does, but Space Ghost doesn't, and there's the key difference. And his band leader happens to be his arch nemesis, Zorak. If this wasn't enough, his production includes the villain Moltar and an adversary named Brack, who later received his own spin off. Of course, you won't be as good as me, but then who is? Despite his shortcomings as a talk show host, Space Ghost manages to score interviews with the likes of William Shatner, Tom York, and Conan O'Brien. This unique show's surreal and sharp influence can definitely be felt over Adult Swim programming to this day. Number 3. Aqua Teen Hunger Force What do you get when you cross floating french fries, an immature milkshake, and a buck tooth ball of beef? You get Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Dancing is forbidden. It is mystery time. We have a case to solve. Aqua Teen Hunger Force, assemble! Standing is one of Adult Swim's strangest and most entertaining series. The show centers around roommates and sentient fast food beings. Frylock, Master Shake, and Meatwad make up the main trio. Their obnoxious human neighbor Carl is also brought into the story. There's also a batch of equally strange recurring characters, like aliens known as Moonanites and mad scientist Dr. Weird. I thought I told you never to come back here again. The Fry Man is not excited to see us. Well, that's a mistake. Come on, Meat Man, <laughs> let's go break the law to fill your primitive need. While the core trio started as crime solvers, the show quickly strayed from that concept. But it never stopped being an inexplicable delight that makes us crave a trip to a really weird drive through Number 2. Rick and Morty Rick and Morty is like Back to the Future, if reality was warped a million times further and Doc Brown was completely unhinged. The title character consists of a boorish mad scientist who drags his grandson into countless outlandish adventures. And together we're gonna run around, Morty, we're gonna do all kinds of wonderful things, Morty. Just you and me, Morty. The outside world is our enemy, Morty. We're the only <coughs> friends we've got, Morty. It's just Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty and their adventures, Morty. Their family is rounded out by Morty's sarcastic sister Summer, the bold Beth, and the fragile Jerry. Though it might seem like another wacky cartoon at first glance, Rick and Morty has earned a passionate fan base. It has a ton of hilarious characters, celebrity guest stars, and mind-bending plots. But it also has a surprising amount to say about philosophy and other serious issues. I thought you were a shy pooper! You know what shy pooping is, Rick. It's a pointless bid for control. You want to take the one part of life that you truly think is yours, and you want to protect it from a universe that takes whatever it wants. While we might not have access to Rick and Morty's interdimensional cable, their show is just as entertaining. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Robot Chicken As a kid, did you ever play with action figures while imagining all kinds of far-out scenarios for your characters to enter? Then Robot Chicken is definitely worth your attention. <laughs> <laughs> this stop-motion animated show co-created by Seth Green is Adult Swim's longest-running show. It combines action figures and sketch comedy to riff on popular culture both past and present. 
Where else would you see Scrooge McDuck on Shark Tank or Mario and Luigi in Grand Theft Auto? Mamma mia! Luigi! We got the pimped out ride! We need some coins, Mario! We have no money! Leave it to me! Are you okay? Since sketches may last for minutes or be over in a flash, we're always kept on our toes. Robot Chicken perfectly captures everything we love about Adult Swim. It's weird, hilarious, and extremely original. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.